guys, it's Joni here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the highly coveted small leather good items from Louis Vuitton and that is their mini pochette. I'm so excited to share that I was able to get my hands on the monogram and the damier Eben and oh my gosh. This was so totally unexpected. I honestly can't believe that I was able to get my hands on both of them, especially the monogram because I know everywhere that this has been so hard to get. It's always sold out online. So today I'm just gonna show you guys how I style it, what I put inside when I do wear these, and then just a little review of what I think about them and if they're worth the purchase. I hope you guys enjoy and keep on watching. Before we begin, just want to put the disclaimer out there. This video is in no way to brag or show off. I really am passionate about this brand and this product. And personally, it was so helpful for me when I did research on an item and watched YouTube videos. So I just hope for the same thing that my videos will be useful and helpful for somebody who's trying to figure out if this product is right for them. This is just my own opinions and my thoughts. If yours are different, or you don't agree that is absolutely fine we're all different people and we're all entitled to our own opinions so it's absolutely okay so let's just have some fun keep it lighthearted I hope you guys find this informative and let's get on with the video so this is my two mini pochettes and of course they come in that beautiful orange box and inside it also has the dust bag and this is how the two mini pochettes look like side by side. To start things off, I'm going to go over the monogram print of the mini pochette. It does come with the gold chain and then on one end it comes with a leather strap. And I'm lucky enough because mine is made in France. Inside the bag, the lining is this nice brown color. It's not leather like the outside. These are just the tags that my bag comes with. And then on the corner, there's a leather tab with the serial number of the bag. Up next, we have the mini pochette and the damier ebin print. Just like my monogram, the Damier Ebin is also made in France. Like most of the Damier Ebin print bags, it's lined with that beautiful poppy red color. What's interesting too is that my monogram and my Damier Ebin have the same serial number, so that means they were both made at the same time in the same place. I know a lot of people like to use this as a catch-all inside their bigger bags but I honestly love wearing this by itself and I'm going to show you guys the different straps I use to style them. First and foremost, these are my Organize My Bag chains. I do have three different sizes and I'll go over it later on. I also got the monogram Louis Vuitton strap. This strap is from my Damier Ebin Alma BB bag. And the final one is my Vaquetta strap from my favorite MM bag. I highly recommend Organize My Bag if you're looking for gold chains for your Louis Vuitton items because the quality is amazing and the hardware matches perfectly. You guys can also use my discount code to hopefully save you some money. The mini pochette does come with its own gold chain but as you guys can see here it's kind of too short to put over my shoulder because it's more meant to be worn as a wristlet. Here I'm using the oval chain shoulder strap from Organize My Bag. I just love how it extends the chain and gives the whole bag a different look and now I can put it over my shoulder. 
I also have the oval chain crossbody strap in two sizes, the extra small and small. And for height reference, I am 5'2", and the website recommended that extra small was best for me. And with the mini pochette, I find extra small the perfect length. I actually use the size small for my Louis Vuitton favorite MM bag, but this is the extra small length. This next strap is actually from Louis Vuitton and it's the adjustable monogram shoulder strap. It comes with this shoulder support tab that you can attach to it as well. What I love most about this strap is because it's the same print and the same Vaquetta leather, it just looks so put together. And I get a lot of compliments when I wear this because a lot of people think that I'm actually wearing a completely different bag. I feel like the strap also makes the mini pochette look bigger than it actually is and it elevates the look so much more. Here is just a close-up of how the strap looks. As you can see, there are different holes so you can definitely adjust the length and it has the beautiful and classic monogram print. Now I'm gonna show you guys the Abin strap that I use from my Alma BB. I love how this strap matches perfectly with the leather tab on the mini pochette because my Alma BB is also in the same Damier and Bin print. And I'm glad that even though this strap isn't adjustable, the length is perfect for the mini pochette. Last but not the least, I'm using my Vaquetta strap that I got with my favorite MM bag. Unlike my other straps that have a double-ended clasp, this strap is a leather tab on one end where you can loop through the metal clasp and lock it like so. And I do believe this is similar to the strap that the pochette accessoire has. Just like my Ebin strap, this one matches the monogram print perfectly because they both have that Vaquetta leather, but I just hope I can keep up the pristine condition that it's in right now because I dread the day when it will start to patina. This strap is also not adjustable so I'm so happy that this one fits me just right. I almost forgot to mention but I did want to give a huge shout out to my Louis Vuitton sales associate here in Guam. Candace, if you're watching this, thank you, thank you so much. Candace was on shift when the store had received their single piece of the monogram mini pochette and out of all of her clients i guess because i talked to her recently she just remembered me and she remembered that i was looking for this and she offered the bag to me and of course i had to say yes so candace thank you so much stop making me spend because you're doing a great job she literally made me buy this within a span of four days but again because these bags are so so hard to get i just could not pass up the deal and for their price point these are really really good i definitely think they're worth it i know with the recent price increase with louis vuitton um, this past January of 2021, this bag went from 325 here in Guam to now $400 each. So I kind of do regret not getting them earlier, but again, with my first video on my Alma BB, getting it when you're ready, and unfortunately, I was ready when the price increase happened, but it's fine, because I'm still so, so, so happy I got my hands on this. But yes, they do retail now for $400. I do always check the US Louis Vuitton website. I don't know if Guam just has a special pricing point. I did hear that 
even though Guam is a US territory, we're kind of considered part of the Asian region. So our pricing here is a little bit different than US Louis Vuitton because I do remember when I was in Vegas this past December, before the price increase, I found the Dami Ebin in the Venetian Hotel Louis Vuitton location. It was going for 365, which matches the US Louis Vuitton website. However, in Guam, before the price increase, these were going for only $325. So if ever you're in Guam, I highly recommend you shop for all of your designer and luxury goods here because if that's true about the pricing, we are a little bit cheaper here and there is no sales tax. If I had gotten this in Vegas at $365 with the sales tax, it still would have ended up being almost $400 anyways so in a way it, it kind of wasn't too much of a loss but I'm just so happy I was able to get this Candice again thank you thank you so much for being the best Louis Vuitton sales associate and for helping me fulfill my dream also guys before we begin can we just appreciate the sound of the gold chain hitting against the canvas it's so funny because when I would watch reviews, some girls would mention that and I have fallen into that trap. Like, it just sounds like music to me. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> okay, back on track. To be honest, when I first saw this, they're super adorable and I think for people who love putting little pouches in their bags then you definitely need one of these but the practical side of me was thinking when I first saw this this is really small what can I even fit in here because I do have the iPhone 10s Max and it does not fit so if you want something that'll fit your phone this is probably not the bag for you but when I show you guys how I style this, the fact that it doesn't fit my phone, it doesn't bother me because I love this bag so much. If you're the type to just want to bring some cash or your cards, your keys and your phone and you're ready to go, this is the perfect bag for you. You guys are all probably wondering, Jonah, what do you even fit in here? What do you bring when you use this bag? So I'm going to show you guys what fits in this little bag and you'd be surprised you can bring everything that you need in this bad boy right here from my first video you guys saw this is my first louis vuitton wallet and i have the zippy coin purse it does fit inside the mini pochette let me just show you guys but this is so bulky whether it has cards or not because i only have a few cards in here right now but it's too bulky that even though it fits into the bag look at that it takes up practically the whole space inside the bag so you really wouldn't have any more room for anything else so i did end up getting myself another wallet again candace please stop tempting me stop tempting me to go back to the store i had gotten this for alfredo in the dami ibn the black version for men I realize how much I really like it. I'm the type to only bring cards. I rarely have cash in my wallets. So when I saw Alfredo Zone, I thought this card case would be perfect for when I bring my mini pochettes. So I got myself the monogram in the pocket organizer and then it just has my license and my cards there. Sneak peek. Um, but yeah, it's about a one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It has about nine slots for cards. I usually don't bring that much, but it's good to know that at least there's extra space should I need to bring anything more than that. And when I put it inside the pochette, look at how much more space that creates for other things versus when it had the zippy coin purse like i showed you guys in my other video i usually do carry a key pouch which is just this one from coach that i have but this is too bulky if i use it inside the pochette i do have my second set of car keys which is just my car key house key and then um this mark jacobs chain so this one is what i bring when i use the mini pochette just because it doesn't take up that much space 
I usually like to bring a travel perfume and then a hair tie. Can't leave the house without a hair tie. So these two also go in my little pochette. And that's usually all that I bring when I use this bag. And as you can see here, so this is my wallet, the keys, the perfume and hair tie are right under. And when the bag is closed, it looks like this. So it doesn't really change the shape of the bag. There's actually still quite a bit of space that I can put things in, but I don't really like to overfill it. But I just love how that's all you need when you're doing a quick errand. It's just a grab and go. There's just so many good things that I can say about this bag. Guys, look at how gorgeous they are. I I cannot believe I have both of these babies in my hands. I love them. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. It does also come in the Dame Azure print, which is the white version of the Dame Abin. I'm not really a fan of white bags, so I didn't feel the need to get the third one. I'm completely happy and elated with just having these two in my collection. My final thoughts. If you were to ask me, Jonah, is this really worth $400? My answer is 100% absolutely yes. I'm honestly so sad that I didn't invest in these sooner because a lot of people tell me that this was around 200 when it first came out. So I'm so sad. It already doubled in price in such a short time. So if you can and if you really want it, I say go for it because these are reasonably priced but you can wear them in so many different ways it's very versatile if you're still thinking about it i would just say do it you're not gonna regret it but again like i filmed in my other video don't feel pressured by me or anybody else buy it when you're ready and at your own time choose your investments wisely i feel like with this bag i can see myself wearing this for years and years to come and i think this would be so cute to pass on to my future daughter <laughs> who knows i give this bag a 10 out of 10 highly highly recommend love them well there you guys have it i hope you've enjoyed my review styling tips and overall thoughts about this bag i highly highly recommend this piece for anybody who's considering it and i hope you guys stay in tune for the next video bye